I just saw this video too, which makes this even crazier. I don't know if you guys saw this video. Um, but uh, let's 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 run it. Run the video, Silas. Hopefully the audio works here. The walk off. I'm dropping out. Last throw of the dynamic this open. Never done this before. Here we go. Oh my god. This is so weird. Oh, that was that was not a good trip. Uh. Please go in. Oh my if that go goes in. in. Go left. Go out the back. Alright. Perfect. Good. See you later. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, so for our audio lis listeners, that was Cole Radolin on hole 16 final round uh, posted. I think this is maybe on a TikTok or something. Instagram. Uh, Instagram posted him throwing a shot on hole 16 and then just proceeding to walk off the course and not finish. I didn't know this video existed. I thought I thought the Instagram post um, that he posted, I thought that was like where he like explained what was going on about what I thought that was the only thing that existed. I didn't know yeah. that they made content around. I mean, I'll give I have a lot to say, but I'll let you guys. I'll open the floor to you guys first. Uh, I, I I have a question. What what did the do we have like the the caption or whatever to the uh, video? What, what for the, the video caption? the caption of the video has got to do what you got to do lol and then that, there's a lot more there's a lot more too right didn't he like post a recap under it um silas can you throw that up if you can get that because he talked about like being oh, in here we go bad headspace i don't know Sorry, oh, here yeah, we just... go here we go uh <laughs> Got to do what you got to do, LOL. DNF from DDO. The FPO finished the round and had to run a playoff, which stopped our card for about 45 minutes. That sucks. I decided to walk off Does because suck. the last three holes didn't matter anyway. People always say they are proud they have never dropped out, but I did it for logistical and practical reasons. This is definitely my first time doing so without being sick or injured. My play was really poor. However, I saw so much potential that just needs to be refined. Champions Landing has always been a tough track for me, but I won't stop coming back and giving it my all. That's kind of ironic. In the future years, uh, I apologize to all of the family and friends that I disappointed with this decision. However, my goals are set higher than holes that don't matter. Not proud of myself at all for throwing in the towel too early in round two. I gave up and let myself spiral into a dark mental space. I'm very, very excited to get home and regroup for the west coast swing miss you oregon all right there you have it all the context i'll let you guys go first and then i'll 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 come in hot um i yeah i, I don't like it i think it's a poor look um i don't know I, I generally just feel like if you sign up for a tournament you should finish the tournament regardless of the outcome like we can't have people you know coming down the the finishing stretch just like dropping because what if he drops and then another guy drops now we have logistical nightmares where we got two people cards um i mean like it, it obviously sucks to play around where like you know you're not going to cash um so like it yeah I, I've, I done it every, I've done it every tournament this year <laughs> I, I, I know more than anyone else calvin it sucks that's gotta be frustrating but like i i think part of it is you just gotta like prove to yourself like you're playing bad but why can't you try to dig dig yourself out of the hole a little and like try to like birdie the last three holes and then like use that as momentum moving forward like why 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 are we walking off the course with three holes to go he says logistical purposes like i I mean, there was there was a lot of stuff in that caption that doesn't make sense. Like like I, no. I mean like I, I'm not sure what his logistical <clears throat> purposes are because he's only saving I don't know 30 minutes at that point. If he already threw the FPO playoffs already happened, he's gotten the chance to restart and throw. So he's he's really realistically if it's hard, his cards turn to T like like 16 takes almost no time to play mm -hmm. and then you got 17 and 18. So he's like saving himself half an hour. So like, I don't, I don't really see that as a good excuse. It just looks like someone, someone gave up and I, I, I don't know. It, it's a pretty poor look. I, I, I generally think pretty high of Cole. Like I think he's like a young player with like a pretty solid head on, on the, on his shoulders. But um, 
I, I don't I don't get this one. I, I I really don't like it for for him. And I, I don't I don't like I, I just don't like like the door that's opening. Um because like if we just start to see more of this, I just think it's a bad look. Zach, you, you wanted to add anything? Yeah, dude. I what I wanna say I like Cole. I'm a I'm a big fan of Cole. I think he's a great kid, but this is like this is just a really bad look. It's kind of a lame move. Um, I feel like for all the people that care about disc golf, care about this sport, you know, approach it as professional. This is not a professional look. You know, there, there's no integrity just walking off the course and hearing everyone giggle and make jokes about it and just walk off. You know what I'm saying? Like that is disrespectful to the the tournament directors, the people who put in their time, your card base. Like, I, I mean, I've seen some comments online. Everybody's like, oh, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Don't overreact. But to me, it, it's frustrating because – you know, everyone wants to drop out like with a couple of holes to go and say they have something going on. If you start a round and you know that you have an elbow injury or a knee injury and you're choosing to play, like you're taking a spot from someone else who would love to play, who would love to compete. And so barring, you know, breaking your ankle on a jump putt in a hole or a ditch or, or something like that, like, or getting a call that, you know, someone in your, you know, family, like had an emergency or something like you should finish the round. Like that's, as a professional, it's not just to play. You're supposed to show up, play the course the correct way, keep score, hold everyone accountable. Like that's all come. That's all part of it. And it's just I don't know. It's it's a bad look and it's frustrating to me because I'm someone who's dealt with injuries the last three years quite a bit. And so if I can go out there and finish a round, bro, you can finish playing three holes. You know. Did you guys read? I I haven't read any of the comments on this. Did you guys read the comments in the Instagram or on Reddit or anything? Yeah, there's some people that are. It's it's like fifty fifty. Some people are like bad look, and then other people are like, oh, he's a kid. It's it doesn't matter. And like to me, it always matters. It does matter. You have sponsors. You're representing people. So I don't know. I I think it's a bad look, bro. This is where um, I think right now disc golf as a sport is in a very pivotal pivotal. Pivotal spot, pivotal spot right now because it seems like there's a lot of people on one side and there's a lot of people on another side for a lot of issues. And the sport can either go with this way or this way. It can't really do this. It can't go over here and then come back here and do this way, right? And there's another topic where we come up where it's the same exact thing. There's some people that are like, I hate this. And there's some people like, this is awesome. Disc golf. And really, honestly, at the end of the day, it needs to be the disc golf pro tour, right? Cause my, my, uh, my idea for sports. And I've said this from the very beginning with ultimate Frisbee is ultimate Frisbee is a sport that no one owns. And there should be people that play it all over, right? There should be people that go out and play pickup on the beach, there's people that play it barefoot. There's people that play it by the wrong rules. There's people that play it with multiple people, like 20 people, 20 versus 20. And then you have like the professional side. And the professional side decides how they want the sport to go. I think right now in disc golf, everyone is kind of looking at the pro tour as this is what all of disc golf should do. And so if you want to keep disc golf weird or cool, Like, that's fine. But, like, that to me should be, like, its own sector. I don't think everyone that plays disc golf needs to play it by the same standards. Like, I don't think people need to be super serious when they go play disc golf. And that's where, like, right now, the divide needs to happen. Something like this. This is the major issue. This is a big issue, the big problem. Cole's a top player. Cole's a, a, a top player who is making a mockery out of just leaving a tournament. It would be one thing if he was like, guys, listen, I just waited 45 minutes. I'm playing like trash. I'm leaving and not post anything about it. Everyone speculates what's going on. What happened? Is he injured? Whatever. That's still bad, but him posting and making it a joke and acting like, yeah, it sucks waiting around 45 minutes to have to play. We'll get to that in a second. Cause that's a whole different issue, but making like this makes disc golf look bad. This makes disc golf look like it's a joke. You would you wouldn't see this in an actual professional sport. You just wouldn't see it. And if you did, the entire uh, fan base would come after that person. 
and say this yeah. is ridiculous. And the fact that we have people thinking like, oh no, it's who cares? He's just a kid. Who cares? No. What? What are we doing here? He just walked off a course. This is crazy. I, I, I just I will never understand the people that think something like this. If you if you want disc golf to be super small and no one take it seriously and people think it's a joke, this is this is what you're going to get. Yeah. The giggling and the laughing really like when I watch the video, I'm just like because I, I talked to one of his buddies who said he's had a history of not playing well at, at, in Emporia. Like these courses might be in his head. Like he, you know, because if you look at Cole, he throws the disc really far. He's a great putter. Like yeah. he has a skill set. He should be able to kill it here. I mean, well, he won and Ledgestone, which is kind won, of a course that's similar to this style. Sure. And, and the fact that, you know, maybe it's in his head, whatever. But that when you watch that video, that doesn't look like someone who's really down on themselves and bumming. And no, it just looks like a joke. It's just unacceptable. I might say something that people don't want to hear, but I'm going to say it anyways because I don't care, right? Um, I think we have gotten super soft. I think we have gotten this idea that it's okay to just say, I'm not in a good mental headspace. I'm dealing with issues, stuff's going on. And then everyone just hands up like, oh, we can't criticize this person. Like that, 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 that is such a new thing. Yeah. We are in a dark, you, you do go to a dark space when you start playing terrible. Trust me, hand up. I've been there multiple times. We've all been there. It's how you react to it, right? Like just saying like, hey, I was in a dark space, guys. I need to go and get my head right. That, I don't know. I, I hate that excuse. And I feel like it's a crutch that so many people use now is when tough times happen, they just be like, hey, I'm going through something mentally. I'm my head's if my head's not in the right spot. I, I I hate that excuse. I will never I will never take that as excuse. If something crazy, like you said, Zach, something crazy happened, right? My wife just had a miscarriage. My dog just died. That might be actually a stretch for some people. To us, if my dog died, that would be pretty traumatic. Yeah. But like you know, there are yeah. certain things where you're like, oh man, he's dealing with some stuff. But we've seen professional athletes have like family members parents die the week of an event and they go out and perform i don't know what i mean what do you guys think i i think we're so we're getting so soft and everyone's just so fine with just like being oh he's just you know whatever whatever i don't know i i, I can't stand it. it makes me sick yeah I, I think there's a big difference between like what cole did and then brad attempting like take brad for instance it was round one probably wasn't feeling great tried he gave it a run and it just wasn't feeling it so then he stopped you know but that's to me that's not even the same thing as making it through every hole but three and then you just chuck a shot on the second to last hole and then just walk out like i'm just i'm not a fan i don't know yeah i mean i, I like you guys doesn't doesn't add up I'll, doesn't add up i'll add on to what you guys have already said cole like the kid a lot tons of, tons tons, nice tons of potential super nice kid tons of potential i'm hoping he can look at this, like take some time and look at this and realize how bad this was and like, you know, make it right. Right. Because to me, if I'm a Cole Rodolin fan and I see this, this is, this is, I'm bummed out. I'm bummed out to see this.